Hi guys, so this is going to be a very short video teaching you guys that are using a Mac how to screen record and audio record. Now pretty simple, most Macs would actually have QuickTime Player installed onto their machine and you can actually use this software to screen record and do audio recordings as well as playing back media files. So I'm just going to show you on here, I'm just going to open up QuickTime. Now when I go to QuickTime at the top, you've got File, I'm going to click on that and you've got three options here. New Movie Recording, Audio Recording and Screen Recording. Now Movie Recording is basically recording webcam footage. Audio recording is obviously recording from an audio source. So in this example, I'm using an external USB microphone and screen recording is obviously recording or capturing whatever's on your screen. Now when you do screen recording, I'm just gonna click on that. If you notice, I've got levels now moving on my screen and this is because it's picking up my USB microphone. As default, it may be set to none, so you may not see any levels coming up, but if that is the case, then just click on that arrow, go to your microphone, and then you'll get levels popping up. Now when you're good to go, you just hit record. And from here, you can just click and it will record the entire screen. Or you can actually select a region just by dragging and dropping over a certain part of the screen. So now I'm recording my whole screen. I can do my presentation. And, and it's also capturing my voice as well from my external microphone. Now once you've finished doing your presentation, if you notice at the top you've got a little stop icon, you just click on that and the video that you've just recorded will pop up for you to preview. Now once you're happy with everything, you go to file, export and you want to make sure you're exporting this at the highest quality you can. So in this option you've got 1080p which would be your highest resolution. So just click on that, give it a name and decide where you want to save it to and then hit save. Now for audio recording, again, you go through the options on QuickTime. Go to file and instead of hitting screen recording, you'll hit audio recording. Again, the setup is the same as we did with screen recording. You would go to the little arrow next to the record button to select your inputs. So I'm just going to make sure that my USB microphone is selected. And then when I'm ready, I hit record. Once you're finished, hit stop give you a chance to preview what you've just recorded so you can play this back and then when you're happy you go to export and you can export this as audio only obviously you don't have the video options because you've only recorded audio give it a name and then select where you want to save it to